Hi, welcome to the Driving the World podcast series. I'm your host, Cully Holland. Today we have Jason Oakley, our corporate electronics trainer, and we're going to be giving you the 10,000 foot view of our new Movi C VFD line. How are you doing today, Jason? Good, man. Thanks for having me. Happy to have you. So Movi C is our newest line or portfolio of VFDs, correct? That is correct. So just real quick, Movi C from Generation B, are they comparable? And uh, kind of why did SCW Eurodrive make this move? Yeah, we kind of have an equivalent from each product in a Generation B, which is being moved to the Generation C. Um, and the reason for that is just time. You know, Generation B has been around for 20 plus years. Um, so the next, next logical step is to, to move something to, to, to something more advanced in technology. And, you know, over the years, products get um, smarter, um, get cheaper. It's easier to obtain different components, smaller components. Um, so those are just some of the few reasons. Um, but mostly the, it was just the le- next logical step. Okay, so Movie C is SEW keeping up with the times, if not even trying to innovate and stay ahead of them. Absolutely. All right, so I guess the first question would be anyone using our Generation B can just automatically use Generation C, or are there some yeah. differences? Or there are differences. It's a, it's a good question. Um, generation B is not necessarily compatible with Generation C. Um, by that, I mean mostly when you're using the software. Okay. It's, there's a new software for Generation C. It's called uh, Movie Suite. Um, and if you have a Generation C product, you'll use that software to control it, engineer it, interface with it. Uh, but that software is not going to be compatible with our Generation B products. Okay, so maybe a main difference, because the functionality sounds like you've kind of taken the functionality from B, improved upon it, but kept it. But yep. to be able to use it, you have to use the software. So where can they get this software? I mean, is it easy to use? I mean, what, what are we kind of looking yeah. at with the software here? The software is one of the, in my opinion, um, best parts of Generation C. Um, it's real modern, um, user-friendly. You can get it from the SCW website for free. Um, so just from some of the training classes we put on, people were completely new to the software within 10, maybe 15 minutes of using it um, have become significantly more comfortable with it than they ever were with the, the old uh, software in Generation B. Okay, so Movi C software is Movi Suite. Yep. And it's free and available on the SCW Eurodrive website. And you're, it sounds like customers only want to do basic setups or just really simplistic startups, or is there even more they can do? Yeah, there is more. So as far as, you know, just parameterizing drives and getting them ready to roll, um, but even taking it one step farther, um, we have something called Movi Kits. Those are program modules, um, pre-programmed. Um, they're used to implement simple control tasks um, and even take it even farther to do something complicated like robotics. Uh, we have a whole catalog of Movi Kits that you can look at. And um, anything from positioning, um, we'll say winder applications, film feeders, and like I said, like pick and place robotics or stacker cranes. Um, and the reason you would use one of those is you kind of leave us out of it. You don't need to wait for us to get to your site and, and help you with your startup. Um, it's all very easily configured. Um, you know your application best, so you have all the parameters that those movie kits are going to ask you for. Um, and you can get that thing started up very quickly. So you're saying if I have a somewhat complex winder application with speed, accelerations, weights, and maybe uh, torque tensions or limits, I could be running without the help of an SEW Eurodrive engineer? Absolutely. And then we're always here for assistance if you need us. Fantastic. So that sounds like we've kind of covered the software. Um, let's get into some of the, the hardware. We do have a Movi C unit here with us today. So I'm going to just go across the board, and uh, on this side, what am I looking at? You're looking at our Movi C controller. That's kind of the brains behind the operation. Okay, so we have a controller here. Is a controller always needed, or is it maybe an add-on that's needed some of the time? Yeah, it, it's all dependent on what you're trying to do in your application. It's not always needed. Um, okay. Again, sometimes we can use Movi kits um, with just a drive. Uh, other times, they might require you to have an upper-level controller from us. So it sounds like just reaching out to your local SEW resource would help clarify yep. that aspect. And as we move across, um, can you tell me the difference between some of these sections? Yeah. Um, actually, these three kind of go together. Um, that's going to be our Movi Drive modular. It's a cabinet-mounted inverter. Um, starting closer to you, we have our power supply module, and then we have access modules. 
Um, a cool feature we have in this generation is we actually have a double axis module that's two independent um, axes built into one module. Um, and th this is our, our again, mobile drive modular, and it's used for, um, we'll say, kind of like robotic movements and pick and place. I've mentioned a couple of times now. Very cool. Um, I can't see the other side. Are we yep. looking at anything else on that side? Yeah, we're, we're looking at our Movi Drive technology, um, kind of a direct successor of our Movi Drive B, um, which was previously our flagship inverter. Um, and it's a standalone inverter. You can communicate with the other inverters as well, but it's a standalone. It has a built-in power supply in the back. Um, and that's probably going to in my opinion, be a, one of our most popular inverters going awesome. forward. So this is all of our cabinet stuff. And I know that Generation B had decentralized. Did Generation C, Movi C, step forward with the decentralized as well? Yep. There's a, the, the whole Generation C portfolio um, is, is quite a, quite large, and it includes, and only today we have the cabinet stuff. Um, and this isn't even the full cabinet portfolio, but the decentralized component of it well it, it exists. Um, and one of the best things about Generation C is when you're using our new software, whether you're using decentralized or cabinet, um, as far as configuration goes and engineering, um, it's very consistent and uniform across the whole portfolio. So it looks the same. Um, so if you know how to do it in one inverter, you know how to do it in the rest. That That's great news because I know our customers would love to be able to have consistency and simplicity across the board. So talking about our customers, we had Generation B. Uh, who who should use Generation C? Is it only for like these complex systems or new customers nope. or? Yeah, pretty much anybody that needs to make something move, um, you know, from standalone uh, standalone inverters for simple applications, you know, shaft spinners, uh, simple conveyors, um, to our more complicated where we're using, you know, motion controllers and, and uh, the modular setup to control um, Delta robots and stacker cranes. So um, it sounds like Movi sees the future and pretty soon all SEW customers are going to be using it? That's the way we're uh, we're trending. So very cool, fantastic. Anything else we need to know about Movi C, or is that pretty much the gist of it? That I think that's the ten thousand foot view. Well, wonderful. Thanks for coming on today. Really Absolutely. appreciate your time, and uh, hope to have you on again soon. Thanks for having me.